Hello everyone, Ace here, and today I've decided to talk about a game that has just recently been announced, but appears to have flown under the radar, and one that you should probably keep an eye on if you're an RTS fan, or especially if you're a fan of games such as Total War. That game, of course, being The Great War Western Front, which is slated for a 2023 release on PC, though the official reveal trailer has less than 13,000 views at the time of this video. So news of this game hasn't exactly spread. So that's why I've decided to help fix that. But let's now move on to what exactly the game is and why I think you should keep an eye on it. For a start, this game is going to be a hybrid game between real-time strategy and turn-based grand strategy. Of course, as previously mentioned, the most popular and well-known franchise for this type of gameplay is the Total War franchise. However, this game isn't being made by Creative Assembly. Instead, it's being developed by none other than Petroglyph Games, who are a bunch of former Westwood employees, and thus have games such as the Dune franchise and the Command and Conquer franchise under their belt, as well as most noteworthy in this particular situation, Star Wars. Wars Empire at War. Also, of course, with this being Petroglyph Games, it is worth noting that legendary music composer Frank Lepacki has already mentioned that he is working on the game as well. So to say that this game is to likely have some absolutely amazing music appears to be something of an understatement. It's also worth noting that even in this early trailer, there is still some gameplay footage shown, which is a rarity in this day and age and is worth talking about in its own right, and does at least provide some hope that this game might actually be fully playable at launch and not a glorified beta as with most AAA titles. I should also mention some of the other features that have been announced, such as persistent damage on maps, which is a feature that you're probably going to be seeing a fair bit with this being World War One, as you'll be likely repeating some of these maps multiple times. In addition, I should mention that Petroglyph have been happily announcing that they are working with the Imperial War Museum on this game as well to help ensure that it is authentic. And as far as I'm concerned, they appear to have knocked it out of the park with this first trailer, especially given that it's dark, gloomy, and emphasizes the fact that in its own words, victory is counted in inches. So needless to say, this is a game that I am genuinely interested in and plan to keep an eye on. And I also hope that you'll see why I've decided to cover this game, especially given that it has flown under the radar. Of course, for those curious, I will be leaving links in the description below so you can check it out for yourself if you should so desire. But in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.